Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. Depend on where you are watching us from. Please subscribe to our channel. I know a lot of people are expecting to hear um, some kind of bizarre thing um, Aisha said about P2B. You know, Aisha had been um, a supporter of P2B ever since um, this new movement started, Obidati movement, Obi joining the Labour Party. And she has been all oh, throwing her weight behind Obi Put. Why this particular criticism? And what is the criticism? Well, a few hours ago, a well-known Nigerian human rights activist, Aisha Yusufu, while sharing on her official Twitter page, has reacted to the criticism and attack P2B supporters are receiving from some Nigerians on social media. And while sharing on her official um, Twitter page, Aisha Yusufu met um, you know, she said she's not happy with the criticism and attacks P2B supporters are receiving on a daily basis and adding that it's because of the way P2B is always coming out to apologize for everything. And that has uh, prompted people to have the courage to criticize the supporters. According to Aisha Yesufu, she said, I don't blame you guys. I blame Peter B that came out to be doing those nonsense apologies or cautioning or of whatever he thought that uh, he was doing. Uh, that is what has given every time uh, every Dick and Harry the audacity to call his supporters all sort of name. He gave you the fool, and as you can see on the tweet, that's a tweet. And coming to think of it, uh, I think P2B was the cause. Are P2B supporters worse than Tinubu supporters? Are they worse than Atiku supporters? You see, uh, what happens is that uh, if you are a moving trend, if you are trending, you will have a lot of criticism. A lot of people will be against what you are doing. And the idea, the plan of these people criticizing P2B supporters is to quench the fire. In case you don't know, the plan is to quench the fire. And P2B has been making some mistakes by telling them, oh, you, you guys got to calm down. Oh, uh, sorry for what this guy did. No, no, no. And what are P2B supporters even doing that is so bad? What, what is it? I realize a lot of Nigerians are coming out to run down P2B supporters. They are this, they are this. Obedience, obedience, uh, P2B idiots. That is a plan to quench the fire, a plan to suppress the movement, a plan to, uh, you know, co uh, bring about hatred on the movement. And Peter B should stop apologizing. Peter B should only tell his supporter once and for all, let them comport themselves. But occasionally coming to apologize is giving the people the audacity to even do more. It will come to a point that if Peter B continues to apologize, that means he's admitting that his supporters are wrong, they are doing things that are wrong, and it comes to a point they will be suppressed totally, they will stop campaigning because they will be afraid of what they will do that will seem wrong. And that is where Aisha Yesufi is pointing at. She has, you know, she's so sensitive that she could trace what you know, it's about to happen. So when I said uh, Aisha condemns Peter B, Aisha attacked Peter B, I know a lot of people are like, uh, they are thinking Aisha has um, taken side with the opposition. No, no. Aisha is not happy that Peter B will continue to say sorry for what is not necessary. And that is why Aisha is reacting. There are certain things people do um, um, you don't need to apologize. There's no way you can please everybody. No, you can't please totally please everybody. That is the fact. Okay, you are talking about P2B supporters. What about um Ebos going to get a vote their um PVC cards? What about them being stopped by Tinubu boys in Lagos area boys? And you know within a week it has died down. The news about that nobody is talking about it what is worse than that what is worse than dumping voters card mainly of christians and um Ibos, you know where you get a chunk or, or, or the majority of p2b supporters in the gota and it dies down immediately 
What has P2B supporters done more than this evil of trying to disenfranchise people? What have they done? Let me advise, just like um, Aisha is evil, let me warn. If P2B supporters are not careful, if they continue to um, uh, allow themselves to be uh, controlled by uh, others, hmm, they will miss it. And Peter B should stop all this um, apologizing and apologizing. No. You should be careful. I want to tell you a story. This is a story while we're in Joss, during the Joss crisis, university crisis, all this, and crisis in Joss, um, religious crisis. Far back, there was a day, uh, you know, in a street, in our street, um, there, there was curfew. Yeah. And, um, you know, curfew means you don't come out as a, at a certain time of the day. Maybe six from 6 o'clock, mainly 6 p.m. or 8 p.m. or 10 p.m. But that curfew starts from 8 p.m., I think so. We were all in our house. We were all in our house. Certain people came out from another compound and mounted before our houses. And the security operatives that were parading saw them. They thought we were the one. They came straight to our house. They demanded everybody in the compound should come out. They wanted to attack. Our father, not knowing we were not the one who came out, um, went to apologize to these uh, security operatives that he will caution us, he will deal with us. But he did it out of ignorance. He never knew we didn't come out. But people from another compound came and stood before our compound. And that is a problem. P2B supporters, I don't see anything wrong with what they are doing compared to others. But P2B is um, coming to apologize for what I don't even know. Anyway, viewers, I would like you to add your comment. Tell us what you think about this story. On a bye-bye for now. Uh, please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Click on the bell icon to get an update anytime it drops. Share this story widely. On a bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.